John. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Did people ever come up to you and ask you for advice? Yeah, people come up to me and ask me for advice, music advice, fashion advice, stuff like that. Same you thing know? here. It happens to me all the time. I think, oh, yeah. I think uh, people think I have good advice. Oh, yeah. Because I'm a celebrity, because I'm on TV. Just because you're on TV. That's right. But all it means is that I avoided <laughs> taking the good advice of not going into show business when I was younger. Yeah. I don't know tough, what I'm talking about. Business. But people seem to want life advice from celebrities like me. So mm -hmm. we're helping out by having them answer your questions in our segment, Dear Famous People. Dear Famous People, I've been dating this guy for six months and I like him a lot. The only problem is he's still in touch with his ex. He says they're just friends, but I wish he would stop. What should I do? Beth in Decatur, Georgia. I guess the big question is, are they friends or are they friends with benefits? Because if she's giving him health care and a matching 401k, that's hard to pass up. Have you tried talking to your boyfriend about this? I know it'll be tough finding a time to talk because he's so busy definitely having sex with his ex, but maybe he can squeeze you in. What I would suggest is leap into your boyfriend's ex's body because of a science experiment that's gone awry, and then have a mind-expanding adventure that wraps up in, say, 45 minutes. Dear famous people, I'm a gay woman and I'm so excited to be getting married next summer. But do I have to invite my extended family, some of whom aren't that open-minded and might cause a scene? Thanks, Yvonne in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. I think you should invite them and then have the officiant say, if anyone has any reason these two should not be joined, eat garbage, you bigoted scum. You should also have a chocolate fountain. Okay, here's what you do. Invite them to the wedding. Then, when they're not looking, you have the officiant marry them all to each other. Then, when they try to say something, you can be all like, who are you to judge? You're all incesting each other. Boom. Work on a science experiment. Then, imagine it goes, let's say, awry. You leap your mean grandma into your fiance's body. Marry your grandma. Teach her a lesson about acceptance. And then leap her out, and this is very important, before the wedding night. Cannot stress that enough. Dear famous people, what's the best way to ask for a raise? I've been in the same job for three years with no advancement and I'm starting to get frustrated. Thanks so much. Terrell in Houston, Texas. Look, show initiative. You should just start killing animals and bringing them to work. And did you say that you worked in a slaughterhouse or was that, I may have dreamt that. In my experience, the best tactic is to just calmly and respectfully approach your boss and tell her, Oprah, I think it's time I got my own show. Experiment, awry, body switch, I know what you're thinking. How many times can you use that solution? Plenty. I've got two Quantum Leap seasons written already. I just need somebody to give me a green light. Thank you, famous people. We'll be right back.